Alrighty, let's play this pool first here. No sound, but a dragon. <laughs> All right. And looking at your email here. Okay, there are no like, massive uh, notes. You just heavy dragonfly landing mechanics. <clears throat> I think the main thing, just right off the bat, be careful. I would either blur this a lot. Um, just a couple of things. This has nothing to do with animation. Just a visual thing of... It's just an odd... Uh, to me, always an odd conflict when you have like simple geometry stuff and simple textures, and then you got a photo and then some heavy, busy textures there. It just never quite meshes to me. And then watch out. It's almost kind of forming a tangent right there, how it's there with the with the mountain line back there. Um, so I would just either put some texture, like this kind of texture on this as well, and then make just that uh, simple geometry and put some hardware fog and... Uh, maybe some depth of field if you want or simplify the textures just like this you just make it like one cohesive style and then that way we're just focusing on this character apart from that the main thing that i'm seeing is that the, the, the shot has like stages of things where as this dragon comes in up until around here the timing's okay but it feels very flat, where it's like it's in one axis, the wings are, it doesn't feel like a big offset. Everything, like the tail comes down in one axis. It all feels, it's almost like um, there are some rings here and a string. This kind of comes down like a prop versus having a little bit of a curvature in there, like a little bit more complex path offset in here. And the wings, the tail could be, you know, a bit more sideways, just a bit more complexity in all axes. So it's not so flat and mirrored once we get to here right so you get the timing it's like all right i'll buy this i'll buy this oh that's weird like here the timing spidey sense kicking right this feels slow like something's kind of weird where that slowdown happens a bit it's a bit too much i understand that the wings come down like that to kind of slow this whole thing down but this feels like right there we're crossing into some new area with some denser air or something where it doesn't quite starts to slow down a lot then after that these guys to me they feel weird where it's it's so driven by lowering the elbows where like that membrane is so low and then it's mostly kind of like a, a wavy i appreciate that it's front to back uh back to front but it doesn't it's so fr back to front that i'm not quite buying the, the physics there i would like this a, it will come up a bit faster and then maybe like that but it's this combination of so flat and then there's so much movement there in the chest where i would reduce that and have that a bit more up down and then with this one for this again a bit lower you can you can go back to front with like a figure eight if you want but i would still go a bit lower there's just something where i don't i don't quite buy that this thing can go up with such horizontal movement in the wings. Where I'd be like, I wanna, now, now that we're kind of stopping and hovering and we're stopping the momentum of going forward, now we just wanna go up. And with that, I feel like, okay, we gotta get some more up and down in the wings in there. And then the next section, and then again, same thing with the tail, which feels kind of straight. We wanna have maybe not overlap with the leg, maybe out here and a bit more, like maybe stiffer through there and a bit looser in the tip. Let's give us a complexity in there. But even here, like the, even the head could have, in this could have a bit of a tilt and kind of uh, now start to kind of drive the motion, almost lead the thing with like little arcs in the head. Just feels very disconnected there. And then the last thing is like now we're suddenly turning into cartoon mode. So it's okay, I buy it. Well, it's a bit one axis, hmm, a bit slow. I'm not quite buying those flaps. And stop. <laughs> this is really, I'm going to hold that hang time and plop where that just feels like the timing is so pushed in there. And again, this almost feels like silhouette wise, this covering not super smooth with the tail, but now it feels like it's holding itself up with the tail. I'm going to hold and then plop down. After that, I do like this. It feels that bit broken here. Check out the shapes where we have a lot of this here. You might have to flatten these guys and get this a bit rounder just give simplify that shape a bit more but i like the complexity of a slide 
an adjustment and then at the end if you want to end on something like this i will probably bring out those wings out a bit more so we can see the separation between that wing side and the legs like here some negative space there and then probably bring up not have such a dip here but kind of smooth out that line where you can basically have a head where it's a bit more it's just a bit higher flowing into the into the chest and in that way the wing can be like this and we have a separation so again we have this connecting this connecting right there it's it's more of an overlap it's not a tangent but it gets very busy especially with all those lines there and then this it just gets very busy and i think for an end silhouette i will keep that but then again get out of that one axis feel and what if the character goes up there and then there's not more profile so then you have a slight twist in this so the wing could be like that maybe this one's a bit flatter and then you have more of a, a proud S curve like this where the character kind of looks out into the distance of okay i made it and i mean it could even bring up one wing a bit more but something where it just have a nice strong silhouette with that head versus all of this here the camera i like this because kind of whoa what is there kind of reframes that's cool we are a bit low with the dragon i think we can tilt down a bit more to this i think this is okay this is cool Watch out, right at the end, whee, the camera goes up with the head. Is it dissipating this a bit too much? I would delay that camera by like six frames. And don't mind the zoom. It's just subtle enough. And that's kind of that. All right, thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.